eighth grade. We're going to start the nine weeks reviewing some of the Pythagorean theorem um, content that we began last nine weeks. Students have to be able to identify the different parts of right triangles, how they're related to real life problems, and be able to calculate different sides based on information. A lot of what we do in here has to do with analysis and information um, about figuring out what's being asked by a question, how to come up with an answer to that question, and does that answer make sense. A second concept we're going to be working on it has to do with exponents, where students will have to be, ident be able to identify base and exponents and how to be able to manipulate those in different equations, such as when we get to the point where we'll be dealing with um, polynomials, which has a lot to do with algebra and being able to um, simplify problems and analyze problems and come up with information for each of those. Another piece we're going to be uh, analyzing this nine weeks has to do a little bit um, also with right triangles and points on a line. We're looking at midpoints and we're also looking at the distance. And while we can calculate and we're able to calculate the distance using Pythagorean's theorem, we also want them to be able to use an algebraic expression or function in order to be able to, to solve distance with two ordered pairs. So these kinds of things will be interplayed as far as that's concerned. Finally, this nine weeks, we're going to be working with scientific notation. I happen to look up the distance between the Earth and Jupiter, which happens to be in the sky right now. It's 365 million miles away. Written in scientific notation is 3 and 65 hundredths times 10 to the eighth power. Students will be able to identify um, how we use scientific notation for very large numbers and very small numbers. We'll probably be doing a Zoom activity. In addition to these concepts that are happening during this nine weeks, we actually have a schedule that we follow. And um, there will be daily practice. And we're using EOC practice exams, but we're also using some drilling practice. Right now, we're practicing finding the midpoint and distance between two ordered pairs, which we have in there. In addition, every Wednesday, students are given a quiz. And so we use Mastery Learning, which allows them to move at their own pace, but also to be able to move forward. On Thursdays, homework is due. I give homework on Mondays when the students come in. Therefore, they learn how to budget their time and work toward when deadlines are due. And so homework is always due on Thursdays if they finish their work early, or if during Spartan time they need help with their homework they can come to class and be able to get that as well, that help. But in addition, homework is more of a review of information that they've had in the past. Hopefully it's not something brand new because we find if students practice something wrong over and over, it isn't going to help them in the long run. Um, we also, on Fridays, weeklies are due in our department. We've been able to put together uh, practice uh, analyzing information and what's happening there. So, all in all, we have a very busy nine weeks getting ready to get started. If at any time you want to know how well your student is doing, we encourage you to get on PowerSchool and also encourage you to contact us. Thanks for meeting with me for just a few minutes, and I hope you have a great nine weeks.